I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love it little ass. You could be painting your bunny in. I just so this is a pretty spring bunny, and I think that nice lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. Big or as small as you want. Hey, Nisi. Hey, Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool, and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose. It might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise, a.k.a. Cat in the Hat today. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today to create some fun Cat in the Hat Dr. Seuss art projects. You guys can do this any day of the year, but in honor of Dr. Seuss's birthday, we are celebrating it today, March 2nd. So I hope you're ready. You can use any supplies. You can watch and do it later. So we record live. My hat is made for children, so it's popping off my big head. So if it flies off while we're creating, forgive me now, all right? They only had children's hats, so I squeezed it on my head. But, you know, the cat in the hat, his hat's pretty big. All right, you guys. So if you are going to create with me, which I hope you are, I just have some pencils, some erasers. You guys can use any kind of paper to create with. You could have a printout, right? You guys could create bookmarks. Oh, how fun, right? So it's really up to you. And you can color with any supplies that you have. So I'm going to warm up my hands, get them ready to create. Now, if you've created with me before, I like to use black marker so you can see it better. But I want you to use pencil or you can watch. Or if you have a printable coloring page, you can start coloring. But I'm going to uh, start. So my format, the way my sketchbook is, is it's vertical or in portrait style this way. And actually, you know what I'm going to do before I start warming up? Let me tell you a little bit about Doc, Dr. Seuss, okay? Let's see here. I have a little information for you. One, Dr. Seuss art class. Use any supplies you guys want. Dr. Seuss, his real name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. He was born on March 2nd, 1904. Are you good at math? Can you figure out how many years ago that was? 1904. Okay, it requires some math. In Springfield, Massachusetts, and he died September 24th, 1991. There's another math question for you. If he was born in 1904 and died in 1991, how old was Dr. Seuss when he died? Gotta figure it out. Let me know if you know. Okay. He was an American writer and illustrator of immensely popular children's books, Cat and Hat, which were noted for their nonsense words, playful rhymes, and unusual creatures. All right. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about him in a minute after I start drawing. So I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of the page a little bit lower than the middle with his nose which is like an oval all right it'll give you an idea of a good place to start so there's a, like a little oval and then his eyes are kind of like egg shapes think of eggs okay and then inside of the eyes it's almost like a you 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 and you can kind of scoop it down like that Okay, and if you want to put a little squiggly line in there, you can. I'm going to put a little vertical line right here. And how about a smile? Smile. I'm going to put a little squiggly line here, a little squiggly line here, and another little smile. And don't worry if you can't keep up with me, okay? I... 
I want you guys to take your time and you could do it again later. You can keep up with me. You guys know everyone works at a different pace, right? That means everyone, some people work fast. Some people work a little bit slower. Some people are in the middle. It's just like anything else. All right. So now you just basically have the face. Now, how about some ears? So we're going to do a line like that and then come back down and in. And here's the scruffy. Okay, let's do a little line here. Now let's just do it again. We're not even gonna connect it yet because we're gonna put the hat in. Let's do the other side. So here's the other ear. I'm gonna go down, scruffy, and then we'll connect it down there. How's that? How's yours coming? Oh, I'm sure it looks great. Be positive. And again, don't think yours is going to look like mine. Don't think yours is going to look exactly like Dr. Seuss. You know why? Because I've done it before. I've practiced, right? Here's his hat. So just keep trying. It's just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. One. I want to see how many stripes do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they're not exactly even. And it doesn't really matter if you do more or less. So I'm going to do his bow tie. Bow tie! All right. So I'm going to do a bow tie right here. And then I'm just gonna make it go right off the page. Maybe you have more room than I do. Give him a little line here, a little line here. Let's give him some little lines in the ear. <coughs> Got a little tickle. Hold on, I gotta take a little drink of water. How's your, how's yours coming? Oh. Well, right now his head's floating. Did you guys not notice that his head, his neck is missing? Oops. Let's, let's connect his neck. All right. Here, line, line. How in the world did I forget his neck? All right. So while you're still practicing or coloring, Let's move on. So he did go to college after graduating from Dartmouth College. Giesel did postgraduate studies at Lincoln College in Oxford. Now he also, so he was, um, so he got his undergrad at Dartmouth, right? And then you can get your master's degree. And I thought this was really interesting. So. Giesel, that's Dr. Seuss's real name, right? Started working on his doctorate degree, okay? Because a lot of people, including myself, are like, is he really a doctor? Giesel decided to write a children's book, which was reportedly rejected by nearly 30 publishers. So that means they didn't want to publish his book. Now, did he quit? No. He kept going, right? He, he didn't listen to them. He knew what he was doing was good. So he used the pen name. That's like an alias name, right? So he used the pen name, Dr. Seuss, planning to publish no, uh, novels under his surname. The doctor was a tongue-in-cheek reference to his uncompleted doctorate degree, which means he never uh, graduated from with his uh, doctorate degree. So he just thought he'd use Dr. Seuss anyways. I thought that was really interesting. All right. So let's keep going. What do you think? Now, again, if you just want to leave it like that, that's fine. You can color it. You can add Dr. Seuss to it. You can put things in the background around him. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to read a little bit. We'll come back to that one and I'll, and I'll color it in a minute. 
All right. So this one I'm going to make, it, he's going to be slightly at, a, at like an angle. So he's not going to be face forward like the other one. Ready? And it's going to be a little bit smaller, but the same format. It's going to be vertical. Okay. And how about this time if I start roughly in the middle of the page with the bow tie? Just so you have an idea of placement. Think of that silly bow tie. It, to me, it kind of looks like a dog bone, but you have the idea, right? So now there's this bow tie, kind of a little lower than center, and it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go up and around like that. And then I'm going to go up, and it's kind of jaggedy because he's furry, but it's okay if you just make it smooth and make it make him hairy later. And I want you guys to use pencil because you can't see my pencil really well. And you can use like little lines for shading if you want, or you can color it, of course. Here's the bottom of his bow tie. Now think of, so I'm going to do a book at the bottom, and I want you guys to think of the book like a letter V. Okay, because the book is going to be open. So I'm going to do a diagonal line here. So it's a really stretched out V, ready? And a diagonal line here. Now you could do the lines a little bit jaggedy on the edge, like pages, and then do another stretched out V. Diagonal line, diagonal line. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to give him some fingers holding the book. Down, fingers holding the book. Here's the, here's the bottom of his body. And if you have enough room, you could put the tail. If you want to add the tail, I'm going to make it coming right off the bottom of the page. Right. And again, if you want to add something with the extra space, you can make them outside. You can put your favorite characters in there. You can write something totally up to you. How's everybody doing? Everybody good? All right. So before we go on, how about a cat in the hat joke? What do you guys think? Let's see if I can find one. All right, ready? What did the cat in the hat order at the restaurant? What did the cat in the hat order at the restaurant? Think about it. I'll go back. So what one, two, three, four, five. Let's count my hat. One, two, three, four, five. Right? So there's a pattern and it starts with red and then the brim is white and then the first stripe is red. You can make yours different. It doesn't matter, but I'm just letting you know that we have repeating. Red, white, red, white, red, and then the brim is white. So it makes a pattern. All right. You ready for the answer? One fish, two fish, red fish, and a blue fish. Mm, what did that taste like? It's getting me hungry. All right, you guys. Did anybody get that answer? Hmm. Okay. So you can use your favorite supplies to color in. Oh boy, why do I not have a red marker here? Let's see what I got. Here. All right, so remember the top stripe is red. So I have red right here.
All right. Now, if I go out of the line, it's okay because I can re-outline it later. Then I'm going to leave one white and then I'm going to do red. So I can make a pattern, right? And then white. And then I got a little one down here, red. And then the brim of the hat's white. And it's kind of messy, but I'm going to re-outline it. And I'll just cover up all those lines. And the bow tie is red. And again, take your time. You do not have to keep up with me. Now, once I'm done with this red, I'm going to take a break and read. I mean, you can keep coloring or you can listen, you can watch, you can practice. So many choices, so many choices. All right, let's, I hope I don't knock this whole thing over. You guys, I went to the library. That's where I get all my books. I have Go Dog Go, but that is, see, Dr. Seuss. Then I have the big blue book of beginner books, right? But of course I have to read the classic. I'm just afraid I'm going to knock all this over, but let, oh, there goes one. All right. That's okay. He'll be on his side for a minute. Does that bother you? I know some people that would bother. So let's turn him over so he's not laying down. Let's try not to knock over everything. All right. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. My favorite. He's twiddling his thumbs. I used to say that in school. Twiddle your thumbs if you're done, right? And the kids are like, what is twiddling my thumbs? So this is twiddling your thumbs. Twiddle, twiddle, twiddle. But don't make the noise. Just do it in your head. So that's, twiddle. So that's what we have here. Dr. Seuss. Or you could just fold your hands. The cat in the hat. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play, so we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun. That is funny. Are you guys sensing that trouble is ahead? I don't know. Let's find out. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. 
Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. By the way, never open the door for people or for animals if your mother's not home. Got it? But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have fun, lots of good fun, if you wish, with a game that I call Up, Up with a Fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball with a book on one hand and a cup on my hat but that is not all i can do said the cat look at me look at me now said the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat i can hold up two books i can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish and look i can hop up and down on a ball but that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. Uh-oh. Don't try this at home. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and a little toy man and look with my tail i can hold a red fan i can fan with the fan as i hop on a ball but that is not all oh no that is not all uh oh That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said the fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shook up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here. Oh, I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And then he ran out and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box, a big, big red wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with the tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a bow. I 
I will pick up the hook. You will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you. They want to have fun. Then out of the box came thing two and thing one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with thing one and thing two? Uh-oh. You like this book? And Sally and I did not know what to do, so we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things, and he gave them a pat. They are tame, oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this wet, wet day. Now here is a game that they like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in the house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house. They should not. Oh, the things they will bump. Oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it. Not one little bit. That's a smart fish. Somebody needs to listen to the fish, right? Then Sally and I saw them run down the hall. We saw those two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump, down the wall in the hall. Thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the string of one kite, we saw mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white, and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Oh boy. And... Then those things ran about with big bumps, jumps, and kicks, and with hope and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what would she say? Then our fish said, look, look, and our fish shook with fear. Your mother is on her way home. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like it to find us this way. So do something fast, said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her. Your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. You know what's going to happen? So as fast as I could, I went after my net. And I said with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those two things yet. Then I let down my net. It came down with a flop. And I had them. At last, those two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, now you do as I say. You pack up those things and you take them away. Oh, dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh, dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook, and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. That is good, said the fish. He has gone away. Yes, your mother will come. She will find this big mess, and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall, we cannot pick it up. There is no way at all.
And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings, and so I will show you another good trick that I know. Then we saw him pick up all the things that were down. He picked up the cake and the rake and the gown and the milk and the strings and the books and the dish and the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. And we put them away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with the tip of his hat. Then our mother came in and she said to us too, did you have any fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on there that day? Should we tell her about it? Now, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother asked you? The end. Okay, that is definitely my favorite along with green eggs and ham okay i love green eggs and ham too but the cat in the hat is definitely my favorite so if you guys are done with that and again you could color in his nose you could just shade it in a little bit more dark right you could shade in part of his like i'm just using some black lines here to give him a little shadow maybe i do it over here too and it could go out of the line because he's furry, right? Maybe you color those little U's in, in his eyes right here. All right. Oh, I forgot his whiskers. Whisker, 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 whisker. All right. That's good for now. How about if we go to the other one? So I did put the stripes on. We already talked about the stripes. Let's count again. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So let's see. We know the top one is red. One, two, three. So we got one, two, three. I'm only going to put one more line. Four. One, two, three. So that makes one, two, three, four, five. You see that? All right. Where's my red again? Let's try it again. So I'm going to start with the red one on the top. You guys can do your background any color you want. You can add scenery. You can put the house in the background. You could add the fish. You can make him cat in the hat juggling. Oh, I want to show you that. I forgot to show you guys too. Let me just finish coloring the pattern. All right, there's my pattern. Okay, so I'm not sure if you know what Dr. Seuss looks like, but let me show you. All right, so here's Dr. Seuss. That's what he looks like, right? And here's another one, Dr. Seuss, with his characters. So I also have another joke for you. Why can't the cat in the hat go to school? Do you know? Why can't the cat in the hat go to school? You're not allowed to wear hats in school. <laughs> You're not allowed to wear hats in school. Funny, right? All right, so what are we going to do? Oh, I forgot the bow tie. So color your bow tie in red. Look at my bow ties all crooked. Okay, so let's do the red tie.
And then again, you could take a pencil, a marker, you can color in the eyes a little bit, those little U's, black, make them a little stronger, a little darker. You can do the nose a little bit darker. You can leave a highlight or you can do the whole thing, right? Maybe shade in the ear a little. You can add a little more fur. What else? Maybe you make the book your favorite book. What's your favorite book, you guys? It, it doesn't even have to be a Dr. Seuss book, right? Could it be Bob? This is the book I'm reading right now, Bob. Could you make Dr. Seuss, the cat in the hat, reading the book, Bob? Of course you can, because it's your artwork. Maybe it could be your journal. Maybe it could be your homework. I don't know. Just be silly, you guys. Create something fun. You could even put lines in here to make it look more like pages. See that? I'm just going to add some lines in there so it looks like pages. And again, you could write the name of the book, or you don't have to at all. You could put it on the bind here if you want. Dr. Seuss. Here, I'll just put some words in there. Dr. Seuss. Okay. What color could you, we could do a blue book. I guess it just really depends on what color background you're going to do or no background at all. I'm just going to color my book in. I'm going to try to color around the fingers. Got it? How's that? Are you guys good? And then, you know what? Since I added a little bit of the body down below, I could put a little fur down there too. Right? So what color would you want to do the background? What color? Something that you haven't used yet, right? It could be yellow. It could be gray. So this book is pretty basic. It's a lot of basic colors. So you can even leave the background white or, again, you can add other things to it. So I want you guys also... If you wanted to make it really little, you could make it into a bookmark. Or if you have the printable template of the bookmark, I'm just going to show you how to do this really quick because it's pretty easy. But you could always make your own little bookmark with um, any design at all. It doesn't even have to be Dr. Seuss or Cat in the Hat. It could be anything. You can make a bookmark out of anything. And... <gasps> Oh, hey, Miss Johnson, I just got your text. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Miss Johnson just texted. <laughs> Hi, Miss Johnson's kindergarten class. All right, you guys can tell my head's about to fall over. Oh, my gosh. Here, I'm going to. Um, if you want to come on camera. Let's see if I can do this today. Sometimes I forget. You'd think, you guys, by now I'd have it down. But just like everything else, I it's not perfect. I just do my best. That's all we ask, right? Just do our best. All right. Oh. Oh. Why does it say it's expired? Do you guys see me? I hope you guys see me. Why does it say it's expired? I don't understand. I hope you guys see me. All right, I'm going to post. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just go away for a week and somehow I 
I'm going to post this. Hold on. I'm going to post this in the group. Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know why. So you guys, it says my broadcast has expired, but I think you're watching it. You are live. All right. All right, you guys. Okay, what was I talking about? Now I don't even remember. Oh, the bookmark. Okay. Okay. So here's my bookmark. And again, if you have a principal template, that's awesome. You can make your own. I would definitely not make this large for a bookmark, right? So if you have a little one, and this is courtesy of PBS Kids. So you guys can go to PBS Kids and they are a bunch of things on there uh, for cat and the hat and games and principal coloring pages also. So here's, here's how I like to cut, right? So rather than cutting out on the dotted line, I'm going to cut this right in half here, right down the middle. Okay. Like this. And then I'm going to cut this bottom part off. So there's directions on there too. I'm going to show you. See, it says cut around the dotted lines, fold in half and glue together, right? So you can use the one that's already colored if you have a colored printer, or you can use that as a reference and color it similar to that or do your own, right? So notice the dotted line goes only around the outside perimeter and then the solid line in the middle is where you're gonna fold it. All right, so I just think it's easier to cut it separate than to sit there and try to cut it out. So I'm going to go on the dotted line. I'm going to take my time when I'm cutting. And you guys can color it first or color it later. It's up to you. Color pencil, marker, crayon, whatever you want. Put your name on it if you want. In case someone finds it and they don't know whose it is. Or you can give it to someone as a present. Nice bookmark. You could add a tassel to it, right? Maybe put a little hole in it and add a little tassel with some yarn or an old shoelace. I kind of save, look at that hair. Oh boy. I kind of save everything. So I have like old shoelaces and stuff. Just think of things that you could use to make a, a tassel. So again, you would color it and then fold it on the solid line the best you can. Okay, like that. And then you would just add some glue inside of it. I happen to have a glue stick here. So if you guys have a glue stick, I think that's the best thing to use. If you don't have a glue stick, you can use the liquid glue, but then sometimes if you're using paper, it gets a little bubbly. So add a little bit of glue. Do not push it too hard. Make sure you get around the edges. It's a little hard to be doing standing straight up, so I'm going to do it over here on my table. You only really have to put the glue on one side, okay? And I'm going to press it down. It says, let's go on a reading adventure. And you see at the bottom, it's got PBS Kids on it, which I love, okay? So color it however you want doesn't have to be perfect. And now you have a little bookmark. So if you're reading a book, you can use this as your bookmark so you don't lose your place, right? That's a good size. So obviously that's going to be too big. So find a good size or make your own bookmark. Again, it, does, it could be your favorite book. It doesn't have to be Cat in the Hat. And oops. I told you guys it was going to fall off. I got this kid hat on, all right? Oops, there's the tag too. One more time. My sister Darcy said, did you try that hat on? 
Mrs. Matioski, did you try that hat on? Are you sure it fits? I was like, that's all they had. I went to Party City, if you're wondering where I got my hat and tie, Party City. But they only had kids' hats. So I was like, a kid's hat is better than nothing at all. But it definitely wants to come off my head. So did you guys um, get the link if you want to come on? And if you want to share, that's awesome. So I also have, since I printed mine out, I'm going to cut it out too. So again, what I like to do, instead of sitting there trying to cut it like around it carefully, I'm just going to cut all the extra off. So I cut the bottom part off. Even that piece of white right there, I'm just going to cut the extra off. Because I think it's easier to cut on the dotted line when I get rid of all that extra paper. So I'm cutting on the dotted line. And again, you can use the one that's colored already if you have a color printer or color it yourself, which you should do. I think you should do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do your best. Okay, after you get it cut out, remember, fold it in half. Are you guys able to see that? Okay. You know, and again, I'm just going to show you an example of if I colored the background. So if I were to color the background, you want to use a different color. You know what? Let's do it the primary colors. What's the primary colors? Red, blue, and yellow. So I did red, blue. I'm going to do the background yellow. That would be the primary colors. So... I'll leave the pages of the book white. And then that way, when I color the background, it'll make the cat and the hat stand out, right? What do you guys think? Does it look better with the background color? What do you think? I think I like it better with background color. And Emma and Bella are here from Florida. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi. Hold on. Let me get move in front of the camera. Oh, what's going on? We're using. Oh, you got those. I love those markers. Oh, that looks great. That is great. I love it. I love the polka dots in the background too. Read. Read. I so love mine it. is not quite finished yet and I haven't even started with coloring yet. But... That's okay. We love seeing your, your drawing. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Look at the cute kids. What, what's, it, what's it say inside the picture in the background? Behind the fish? Yeah, what does that say? It's nice to read. It's nice to read. That is so cute. This is my fish over here. I love your little fish. He looks He's a little disturbed. disturbed. <laughs> Look at that eyeball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is too cute. I love it. You guys are both using markers. Well, you will. Bella is using pencil right now, which it, it's a really nice drawing, very detailed. So I want everyone that's watching to notice how you guys both take your time and see Bella is still drawing. She's doing her own thing, right? Adding all kinds of details and other things that I did not do. 
which I love. How's everything in Florida? It's good. It's good. It's hot. It's awesome. We're back to summer, I guess. Oh. <laughs> well. Like, like he's a little, like a, he's a little um serious. Like he's he's listening to the cats. Very he's very like, intent. <laughs> That's great. We just had this conversation with the girls that um, uh, Emma was saying that the fish is the only reasonable being there in the book. The responsible she, adult. The responsible adult. And she says, Mom, they, they did, he did come, the cat, they, he did come to the house and made a big mess there. I'm kind of siding up with, siding with the fish. So I said, well, that means you're growing up. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite book, a Dr. Seuss book, a favorite one? She really, um, I was Emma little, was little, yeah. yeah. What, remember the book you loved? I did. It was I Go Dog Go. Yeah. Was it, was it Dr. Seuss? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think sure. it was Dr. Seuss. Actually, oh, no, we both it loved Dr. that Seuss. one. <laughs> if that one is Dr. Seuss, she loved that one. And of course we did, we have actually a whole collection of Cat in the Hat. The original one, and I guess there's um, other books that were written in the style of Cat in the Hat, but I don't know if that was actually Dr. Seuss. Got it. They did like that. And also, when they were little, there was this show on, I think it was on PBS, the new the, the new cartoon with the cat in the hat. They really loved that one, too. I remember watching it. Yeah. That's great. I love, it doesn't matter how old you are, cat in the hat. Look at how old I am. I still love cat in the hat, right? It's oh, awesome, right? <laughs> it's, it's timeless. It's for everybody. And they're just incredible books. So I agree. Yep. Thanks for sharing. They look great. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us. I will take pictures of them when they're done and post them. Excellent. So you can see Bella finished work too. Yes, we look forward to seeing all those amazing mm -hmm. pictures. So thank you so much. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye, Denise. Bye. Bye. Oh, heart to you. Oh, hold on. <laughs> heart to you. Heart, heart, heart. Yay. Bye, girls. Aw, they're awesome. You guys, anytime you want to come on camera with me, just let me know. You can text me. You can email me. You can go to my website, artistatheart.org. I have everything on there, every way to um, contact me, Artist at Heart Paint Party. So let me finish coloring this. I love when you guys share your artwork with me, pictures. I love your ideas. I love when you, you know, do it a little different than I did. When you think outside the box. See the colored background just makes it stand out a little bit, right? And I loved how Emma did I'm gonna put my glue don't forget to cap your glue stick okay I just did make sure you this is what the kids used to do they used to put the cap on without turning it back down turn it back down and then put the lid on and listen for the snap so you know it's not gonna dry out and then I gotta find my red and now I'm gonna I'm gonna see um Emma inspired me so I am going to copy her. Read. Read. And we can put a little heart. Or more than one. Or I love reading. Read. What else could you do to make it different? I don't know. You guys think of ways you could make it different. And again, don't forget, send me some pictures. Look at it. Oh, she said go dog. I this was the book. I have it here. Look, go dog go. You guys said so it's by PD Eastman, but it is. A uh, Dr. Seuss book. So I wonder if it says. Okay, so P.D. Eastman 
was one of the original beginner book authors. Among the books he wrote and illustrated are the beloved classics, Are You My Mother, Big Dog, Little Dog, and The Best Nest. So again, that would be an I Can Read All By Myself beginner book by Dr. Seuss. Plus this one, all from the library. You guys go to the library, get as many books as you can. And my favorite, Cat in the Hat. All right, you guys. So keep reading, keep creating. Thank you so much for joining me. I am Denise with Artist at Heart. And just have fun and do it again and keep practicing and keep reading. And I have less than a week to get this book done. So if you guys have not read this book, again, it's from the library. It's called Bob. And it's really good. So read it. <laughs> I'm recommending that one to you. And I will see you guys again real soon. Thanks for creating with me. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Oh, wait, I forgot the jokes. <gasps> Sorry, I'm not going yet. Wait, hold on. I have one more or two. Wait, let me see. I have one more joke. No, two more jokes. What would Sally's mom say if she saw the messy house? What a catastrophe. <laughs> One more joke, you guys. Where does the cat in the hat go when he's sick? To Dr. Seuss. Now I'm heading out of here. Bye, you guys. I'll see you soon.